Ruby and today I have got another morning routine to share with you. This is the first morning routine I filmed in 2021. So I wake up between 6 and 7 and that time just depends on how late I stayed up reading the night before. You might know that I use an app called Alarmy to wake up so basically I have to scan the barcode on the back of this book in order to turn off the alarm which is great because it gets me out of bed but I usually climb back into bed for like five minutes and I will drink a large glass of water also put on some lip balm I love the balm.coms from Glossier Then I will climb out of bed and just do a very gentle stretch when I wake up because I'm usually quite stiff after sleeping. That makes me sound like such an old lady. Then I will go and brush my hair. So I do my hair first thing because my hair has got really quite long. It's down past my waist now, which is the longest I think it's ever been. So I will put it up into a bun. And then I will go and open up my curtains. I love to just open the window and get a breath of fresh air in the morning. It's recently started to get a bit warmer, which is lovely, but there is definitely still a nip in the air when I wake up. And I love that cool freshness of winter air. So I've gotten into the habit of doing a light yoga flow in the morning too, but I've got into the habit of doing this every morning just for like five to 10 minutes. And I love how it refreshes and wakes up my body. And I feel like I go into the day just feeling more mindful. Then I will put on my lovely pink dressing gown and go to the bathroom. I wash my face with cold water again to wake myself up. This is so refreshing and it's a substitute from the cold showers that I was taking in the summer. I will also cleanse my face with the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, which I'm a big fan of. This is really gentle. I have really sensitive skin, so it's really hard to find skin products which don't irritate my skin, but this is really good. Then I will put in my contact lenses. Oh, and if you're wondering, my glasses are from Blue Bloom. I always get loads of questions about it. It's a really great ethical glasses company. Next, I will brush my teeth and yes, it's me. Of course I'm reading whilst brushing my teeth. At the moment, I'm reading Norwegian Wood. And then I will go and open up the shutters in the bathroom since I'm usually the first one up. I head back into my room and make my bed. And then I will put on some makeup. I use this Glossier moisturizer. Goodness, you're seeing a trend with the product I use. I'm also using the Collection Concealer and I love to put on the Generation G lipsticks as well from Glossier. This one is in the shade Cake. So after getting dressed, I will head downstairs and I will just bring down my headphones so I can listen to music. I've recently been really into folk classical music. It's a niche area that I have never come across before and it's just wonderful. So I rinse out my cup and fill it with cold water and I will also put some ice in with the water because I really love the feeling of icy cold water. It's just so like, it's so satisfying and refreshing. And I will usually drink a whole one of these. Lift me up above the clouds, won't you then I will unstack the dishwasher. When the scenery is right, go right in. I wanna fall deep within. And then it is time for breakfast, which is my favourite meal of the day. 
I've recently been really into cereal bowls, um, like mixing loads of cereals together in a bowl. I'm so boring. My favorite cereal is bran flakes. I don't have a massive sweet tooth and I much prefer plain cereals, but I always top it off with some coconut milk and also some yogurts and fruits and things. I also get myself some tea, of course, so uh, I've got back into the habit of having matcha every morning. Sieve the matcha first to get rid of any clumps, and then I whisk the matcha in some boiling water and add some more boiling water to that to top it up. And then before heading back upstairs, I will fill up a hot water bottle. I bring all of that up to my desk and I like to eat my breakfast upstairs mainly because it's quite cold downstairs in the morning. And then I wrap up tight in my blanket and hot water bottle and enjoy my delicious breakfast whilst again, you guessed it, reading. Then it's time to get started with work. I will light a candle and then plan out my day. I use a combination of both my academic planner and Notion. Then I get started on studying and I like to complete my most daunting tasks in the morning. So today I wrote the first draft of my essay, which I managed to do before 11 o'clock, which I was very, very pleased with because it was a great motivation boost for the rest of the day. So when I was finished, I got ready for my walk. My muscles have been really sore recently, so I've been using this tiger balm and putting that on before my walks. and. Yeah, put on some nice cozy walking socks, grab a book, which I like to put in my pocket. And then I will bundle up. So I am already wearing a thermal vest under my dress, but I'm putting on a microfiber fleece and also a very thick Nordic jumper. And then to top it all off, I have my black duffel coat. This is actually my old school duffel coat, but it's the warmest coat I own. And so I've been wearing it a lot this winter. Then I put on my wellies and head outside. The snowdrops are all out at the moment, which is so, so lovely to see because snowdrops are definitely one of my favorite flowers. I love these walks that I go on in the morning because they are really meditative. I sometimes will read some poetry, but mostly I'm just there appreciating and enjoying nature and living slowly, which I think is so important. I find during the academic year, I'm always so busy and I always have so much to do. And when I'm sat at my desk, it always just seems like there's so much. And yet taking this hour out every single morning is a chance for me to switch off and reprioritize and really think about the things that are important in life. Let me know if you'd like to see more slow living content as well because it's something I'm really interested to share with you all.
when I get back, I will have my wheatgrass shot. I have one of these every morning. And then it's back up to my desk. I always get myself another steaming mug of tea, usually a milky Earl Grey, which is just nice and warming on the hands. And whilst I'm drinking that, I will write for about half an hour to an hour. Um, I like to make time for writing every day when I can, just because for me, writing is really important and I really enjoy writing. And I want to make sure that I'm making time for that every day because it is something I personally really prioritize. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.